In this video, I'm gonna be going over the thought process and the trades that I took in order to make $2,370 day trading the NASDAQ futures. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the past two days in the markets have been absolutely crazy. We had a really big fall yesterday in the NASDAQ futures, and then this morning it opened up crazy as well. Anytime we start getting this volatility, trading styles are gonna to have to change a little bit, and you could potentially make a lot more money and lose a lot more money, right? That's just part of trading. Today was a good day for me. Again, netted $2,370. Um, and let's go ahead and talk about how. So after this big sell-off yesterday, the market today could have gone either way, right? It could be one of three things, really. Uh, big sell-offs can also lead to another big sell-off. Um, it can lead to a nice little chop day. It could also lead to a nice reversal back up. So my thought process going into today, into today was, let's be somewhat patient and figure out exactly what the market's gonna do. I did know that on this flush, we had some nice wicks here that I thought might go get tested at the 40s level, 12,440. So I do stream my trades live every single morning here on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe and press that bell notification so you do know when we go live every morning. At the beginning of the morning, I did comment on wanting to take a short up here at 12,440. Now when the morning opened up, we actually had a nice little sell off right off the bat. Um, so let me actually go to the one minute chart here on the NASDAQ futures. I only traded the NASDAQ today. I didn't even touch the ES. So the third minute of the day, I got long because it looked like we were going up. Delta was increasing. It looked like we were floating off of volume. We quickly flushed down quite a bit. So I immediately took like 50 points of drawdown. Not great, right? But I saw a ton of volume come in at 12,220 uh, 12, and then a lot of volume come in at 12,027. Big volume just came in at 26. I'm gonna participate with that at the 26, 28 level. Once I saw this volume come in at 12,027, I actually marketed long and then we proceeded to absolutely rip the rest of the day. So I ended this first trade minus 10 points. I got out at, uh, at the time, that's where there was a lot of volume being conducted at 60. It was also on our range chart here. Uh, it was just an interesting level to me. So here you can see it was the plus one or the minus, the minus one standard deviation. My second contract that I took from down here at 27, I actually moved up to volume here at 94. So I ended up losing 10 points on this trade, putting me down $190, as you can see. And then I ended up making 60 points on this trade, putting me up $1,175. So this just shows that uh, if you average in with the market and when it's moving in your direction, it can be a good play. So I wish I would have held it all day, right? Hindsight says, dang, Matt, you should have held it all day long. You could have made so much money but I didn't, um, I decided to reset after we broke volume here. You can see I took another little scalp long. Uh, this was a 10 point winner. This, I just saw Delta increasing like crazy. A lot of market buyers and participants and we were sitting on volume so I got long and just rode it up for 10 points. Short, sweet, $200 trade there. Next, it looked like we were rolling over. Uh, you can see how we had some sellers coming through. So I decided to get short at the next big push up to volume. Well, I got short here, a few points in profit, nothing crazy, and I ended up getting stopped out at 15 points of a loss. So this trade was $290 on a loser. So total losing $480, right? So what did I do? I waited for us to pump up and then retrace a little bit back to volume here. As you can see, volume at 75. I ended up getting long, and I rode this. Uh, this was also the Kama test, Kaufman Adaptive Moving Average. I rode this trade, so we bounced off camera, I got long, and I rode it all the way up to 12,417, um, or 413. So that's almost 40 points, 37 points or so, for $750 of profit off of just one contract. Again, playing the camera bounce. So when we're trending up like this really nicely on the one minute, playing the camera bounce is a very good risk reward ratio. I took about six or seven points of drawdown here, uh, and we rode it up. So then waiting on, uh, I didn't take any of the further camera bounces, even though they would have played out pretty nicely. The next trade I took was actually short at 443. Why you ask, right? So again, looking at the daily level, I had been talking about this all day long that I want to see the target of the 40s get met. 
A lot of times when we have a nice retrace like this and we pump up, we go and we look at the previous left wicks, see which ones have not been tested, meaning price has not gone up to it yet. And that could be a spot where the price rejects. And so that's exactly what we looked for. Got in short at 43. And again, took about five points of drawdown and rode it all the way down to 406, bringing in another 37 point trade, $745 of profit. On this trade, again, I could have held it all the way down to VWAP. Uh, I left 50 points on the table, but at the end of the day, guys, you're always going to leave some on the table. There's never going to be a trade where you leave feeling perfect because the markets are always going to be moving. If I hadn't gotten rid of this short, I would have been sad. Uh, if I held it all day, I would have been fine. Um, but for me, it's all about knowing that there's going to be more trades. There's going to be stuff that's left on the table, money that could have been made, money that was lost, right? And understanding that is really important. Um, so that was my final trade of the day bringing us to $2,372. So big trades for me today. Normally you see my brackets, right? The brackets that I trade, I'm looking for four or five points, sometimes a seven point target. The trades today were all like almost two 40 point trades and a 60 point trade. Um, and that just comes with volatility for me. I came into the morning saying, you know, we had a big day yesterday. Volatility is probably gonna be high. If I use my normal brackets that I've been using with four or five, six, seven point targets, and 15 point stops, I'm probably going to get stopped out a lot because the market's moving 20, 30, 40 points in a few minutes, right? So that allows me to open up my trades and really be able to play the market, uh, understanding that I might have a little more drawdown potentially if I don't have those sniper entries and exits, but that the market's moving pretty quick right now. So overall on the day, these are the stats, 67% winners, average losing trade, $240, average winning trade, 718. Overall, very, very happy day. This is one of the very few days that I walk away thinking, you know, I could have done X, Y, Z different. Uh, I could have been better in this way. Today was just a day where I just enjoyed trading. I enjoyed being in the market. I felt like I was in the zone and I'm able to walk away and say, you know, I did good today. Pat yourself on the back and then forget it ever happened, right? Because just as important as it is to forget your losing days, take some learnings from them, but forget them because you got to come back the next day. You got to have a clear head. You got to be able to make money. It's important to do the same on your big winning days because if I go into tomorrow thinking, man, I made so much money yesterday, I'm the best trader in the world. I'm gonna get humbled real quick. Market's gonna do some dirty things to me, right? And I'm gonna end up with a fat L. So it's just as important to forget your losing days and your winning days. Go in with a clear head, clear slate, and get, get the bag. Go get the bag the next day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you press that thumbs up button down below. If you enjoy the recaps and if you enjoy live trading, make sure you press that thumbs up button and subscribe. Super important. And I will see you every morning. Market open 820 central. Have a good one. Peace.